Hey guys, I just wanna run you through a simple ACL tape today. So what we're gonna do is try and essentially prevent that knee from coming quickly into that sort of extension position. So we're gonna provide a bit of support with the rigid tape and then we're gonna do an elastic wrap over the top of that. So I'll get Caden to face the wall and then we're just gonna get them into just a little bit of knee flexion there. It doesn't have to be a whole lot, but just a bit. And then we're gonna do a couple of anchors around the top of the knee and around the bottom of the knee. Now, I've got Caitlin up on a table so that I don't have to bend down too much because I'm lazy, but you can do, the, do this with them standing on the ground if you don't have a table that they can stand on. Now, these are your anchors. So both of these are put on with no tension at all. And then your following strips, we're gonna do a couple of crisscrosses behind the knee to provide a bit of support as they come into that extension sort of position. So again, we can use this little trick where we do the back of the tape to measure the length that we might need. And then we're just gonna go from one side of the knee down onto the other side of the knee. And we're gonna repeat that two times each way. And again, these don't need a massive amount of tension, but just a little bit can be quite nice for your patient or athlete. And we're gonna do the same sort of thing that we've done in the past where we have a bit of an overlap of that tape as we cross over so they're not following the exact same path. Now, from here, we're gonna use some elastic tape and we're gonna follow the path of the crisscrosses that we've created to provide, again, a little bit more support through there. So, as we come around the thigh and the calf at the bottom, we don't want any tension on it. Again, we don't wanna to provide too much pressure through the quad or too much pressure through the calf and cut off any circulation. But once we're coming down behind the knee, we do want to provide a fair bit of tension. And with your elastic tape, you can actually put quite a lot of tension on. Now, what I've just done there is as we come around, I find that if you can lift the tape off, take all the tension off and then lay it down, completely removes any unnecessary tension around the calf and the quad area. So we're gonna do a wrap down and a wrap up like so. And then depending on how comfortable your athlete or patient is with their knee, you can do multiple crisscrosses or just the one. We'll just do the one now for the sake of this video. And then what we'll do from here is just cut that tape off. And I find that you get the best stickiness through there if you do another rigid wrap over the top. just to lock that one off.